I'm going to show you what it takes to get out alive to some of the most dangerous places on Earth. I've got to make it through a week of challenges in the sort of places you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. Tornado season day one, and the Great Plains are erupting. It's over there! It's right here! This is a very dangerous spot. The tornado's moving like hell. America's top chasers take on nature itself. Get up here! To get inside the eye of a twister. I think the tornado is catching us. Oh! I can't swim here! Whoa! <laughs> that thing is a monster! Inside the tomb of Tutankhamun, a crowd gathers on the edge of history. Dr. Hawass's team is nervous. No one wants to mishandle the pharaoh. <laughs> Under the golden mask is the 3,300-year-old mummy they've all come to see. <laughs> this is Tutankhamun. Please go to the side, please. Don't move with the mummy, please. To protect the exposed mummy, its new resting place is a casket of nitrogen-filled plexiglass. And now, as he has uncovered King Tut's face, Zahi wants to uncover his story. It's the beginning of a journey into one of ancient Egypt's greatest mysteries. We're debating, scholars are fighting. Say, who's the father of Tutankhamun? No one knows. Who's the mother? No one knows. It seems incredible, but the identities of Tutankhamun's family are completely unknown. Hello. My name is Stephen Hawking. Physicist, cosmologist, and something of a dreamer. Although I cannot move, and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind, I am free. Free to explore the universe and ask the big questions, such as, do aliens exist? If so, where could they be found? What do they look like? What are they made of? Are they intelligent? And if we met them, what would it mean for humankind? Is time travel possible? Can we open a portal to the past? Or find a shortcut to the future? Can we ultimately use the laws of nature to become masters of time itself? <laughs>